welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. It is officially December. I can't believe this game it came out in March. It feels like I've only had it for like a couple of days. But at the same time, I feel like I've done so much. So we're playing on December 1st. Um, Isabel's gonna tell us about Toy Day the whole season. She hopes that Santa can find us on this island. Um, they decorated resident services, they decorated nooks. Everything's gonna be really cool. Um, and then that's kind of all the information that she gives. There are toys that we need to get on every day and collect so um whether i stream or i just like record an episode i will be playing every single day at least to just get on and like go to nooks so um this is a voiceover in case you haven't noticed um i'm just gonna like play the game in the background and talk to you guys about all the cool awesome things that uh we can now finally do this month um, but I do want to mention in the very beginning that the dung beetle will be out this month. As soon as it snows, I plan on streaming until I catch a dung beetle because that is the last bug that we need and I'm so excited. Also, I still need to catch the barlow, which is a fish, if I am actually saying that correctly. Um, I will be streaming that as well. So if you follow me on Twitter, I will post when I am doing those two streams if you are interested in watching them later this month. So we can just start right off with the bugs, fish, and sea creatures that are new this month. So for this month, for the Northern Hemisphere, we will get the Emperor Butterfly, the Raja Brook Birdwing, oh my gosh, and then the Dung Beetle. The Dung Beetle requires snowballs on your island to appear, which only occur after December 11th. So um, that is definitely something that we will be doing. That is the absolute last bug that we need. I am so freaking excited about this. There are five new fish that you can catch in the Northern Hemisphere this month. One is the pond smelt. This is the first time that we are seeing the pond smelt. Um, I say this in every video that I do, but Sam's town is in the Southern Hemisphere. So I did get a lot of my fish and bugs from her. We streamed it, it was a great time. So. The pond smelt is new this month. The string fish is new this month. Um, we could catch a string fish back in March though, so um, we did do that. The sea butterfly is out, the squid is out, and the oar fish is back out. So we have all of those cool things to catch this month. And then we only have one new sea creature to catch this month, which is the lobster. He is fast. Um, I watch a lot of other Animal Crossing videos. A lot of people ask how you catch these fast things. Um, I would say patience. Um, I try to push them into whatever corner of the map. If I'm swimming to the, towards the right, I try to push them into the right corner. Um, sometimes if I swim above them and then like try to swim down, they'll bump up against the bottom and they come back up. It's just, it's a patience thing. It's annoying, but um, I think that it's easier to catch these here than it was in like New Leaf because these guys could just swim under the barrier and you just sit there and be like, wow, okay, bye. As for everything that is leaving this month, there are no bugs leaving in December. So uh, you don't have to worry about catching anything as it being like a last catch. Um, for the fish though, we will be losing the pike in December. And that is it. So they are just found in the river in an extra large shadow. I find them all the time, actually. Um, I actually had a little model of a pike made. Um, also, I'm showing off the resident services. They're all decorated right now, and I think it's cool. And then I tried to talk to Hopper, and I watered him instead, so that was a thing. And then um, for sea creatures leaving in December for the Northern Hemisphere, we're losing the mussel the tur and the turban gel. So that's it. So there's not a lot. There's not really a lot of new things to catch this month. Um, if you haven't caught, the, the only like new new things this month I think that we would have never seen before, if you haven't time traveled and you've played on the right date and you've never gone to anybody else's island to catch things, um, would be the dung beetle and the pond smelt. And if you've kept up with catching everything, those should technically be your last two that you need to catch. Um, they're not mine because, well, the dung beetle is, but the pond smelt isn't because Sam's town is in the Southern Hemisphere. So from here on out, I'm going to be talking about Toy Day, snowflakes, snowmen, all of that kind of stuff. So if you don't want spoilers for what's to come, I would definitely end the video here. 
Thank you for watching this far. Um, if you do want to know all this kind of stuff, we're going to talk about it now. So obviously, you know, just keep hanging out. So Toy Day is a Christmas event for Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's going to come on December 25th. Events now are time locked. So you can't time travel to like access these events before the date. But like with Turkey Day, which I still haven't edited or put up, sorry. Um, you can time travel backwards to do these events, but you can't time travel forward. So if you time travel to December 25th, it's just going to act like it's a normal everyday day. So here it is. Um, but, oh, the event date is December 24th. I'm so sorry. It is December 24th. Um, so you have from December 1st to December 23rd, so you have 23 days to get everything that you need. So what are we exactly going to do during this Christmas season? We're going to purchase toy day gifts. So in Nook's Cranny, where like all those cool summer items were and like the, the fall, um, or not the fall, but the uh, Halloween items were, um, we're now going to have toy day gifts available. So from December 1st to December 25th, you can purchase these. So you can still purchase them on the 24th and the 25th, which I think is uh, interesting to note. So you can give your villagers these gifts on toy day or you can just purchase them for your own house. I've seen a lot of people make really cute little village villages out of these like tents. And I just, I'm not creative. I have to go on Pinterest and Tumblr and Insta to find uh, like inspiration. And then I still don't do it. So obviously I'm not that talented, but we're gonna give these toys and then if you want to have you, so your island will only have one variation of each gift. So if you want, you know, uh, yesterday I bought a book or t today, I guess, technically in this episode, I will, I'll buy the book. Um, it was like a black pop-up book. If I wanted like the other variation, I think there's like a blue and a white one or something. I have to go to somebody else's town to buy those. You can also trade them. So I would definitely hook up with your friends and see if you can get things different. Um, there's also a festive series which will be available from December 15th to January 6th. So um, there's like an illuminated reindeer and an illuminated present and I'm sure that there will be more to come that we can see as well. So also you're going to want to dress up as Santa. I think that's kind of the theme with like every game. Um, so Able Sisters will be able, will sell you, you need the Santa hat, the Santa beard, the Santa coat, and the Santa pants. The Santa boots will be available from Kix, so make sure that you get Kix on your island before the 24th, or if, you know, you got a friend that you can just, like, pop over to their island, or if they'll just buy you the boots for you and mail them, that's cool too. So make sure you get the entire outfit, so we'll do that. Um, on... The day of the event, so on December 24th, Jingle will visit your island at 6 p.m. So you have like all day to run around and do your chores and do all of your cool island things that you need to do. And then um, you'll give out presents to all the residents. So how is this going to work? Your villagers won't sleep until you've been given a present, so you don't have to worry about them not being around. Um... And then after completing Jingle's quest, delivering all the presents correctly, he will give you furniture from the Jingle series and a Christmas wreath. And then if you deliver at least eight presents correctly, you will receive Jingle's photograph the next day. So there is the Jingle bed, dresser, sofa, chair, shelves, table, lamp, Jingle TV, piano, wardrobe, and clock. So that makes 11 things, 8, 9, 10, 11 things in total to collect. So there are different toys that we can purchase. So you can purchase a dinosaur toy for 2,400 bells. You can buy the dollhouse for 4,000 bells. You can buy the kids tent for 4,500 bells. The mini circuit for 3,800 bells. The pop-up book for 2,000 bells. The puppy plushie for 2,400 bells, the RC helicopter for 3,600 bells, the tin robot for 3,500 bells, and there are a set of stockings that you can buy from Nook's Cranny at any time for 2,000 bells. I believe we, we bought one in this episode. And that's kind of everything that I have been able to find. I know that you can um, craft trees, uh, Christmas trees, and you probably be able to buy Christmas tree items and other items that are uh, festive so there's always that to look forward to and find for yourself 
So in Animal Crossing New Leaf, you could catch snowflakes and you would give them to the snow mom or the snow mama or snow ma'am, maybe. I don't remember exactly what her name was, but she was like the mom of the snow people. Um, this time around, it doesn't seem like you can give them to her necessarily. You can find the snowflakes, catch them, and you're going to use them as a crafting material. So from December to February in the Northern Hemisphere, um, snowflakes will float around in the air. We'll use our bug net to catch them. And then um, you can hear them like you did in New Leaf. You, you know, you heard that like little twinkling Christmassy sound and that was um, the snowflakes. And then like we did for the like all the November recipes, if you shoot your balloon, out of the sky with your slingshot, you can um, get um, all of the winter festive DIY kinds of deals. So there's a whole bunch of iceberg things, there's snow, there's ski slope things, there's a snowflake ponchette, snowflake wall, there's a snowflake wreath, which I think would be super cute. I'm still mad that you can't put things on other people's doors. It makes me very, very mad. Like, I know that you can like, I can get on with my like second and third character and like decorate their doors, but like I want to give, I want my, I want my like Animal Crossing houses, like my little like Olive's house. Olive's house would look so cute if I could just like throw up a wreath or like any kind of wreath onto her door. Like I just like I want to be able to do that. Like why can't I do that? So last but not least, I wanted to talk about snowmen. Um, in Animal Crossing New Leaf, I feel like I keep going back to this game. I'm sorry. Um, you could craft like a whole slew of family members. You played like bingo. It was like, it was super adorable. I can't say that that's not going to happen, but from what I've researched online and looked into and seen what people are talking about on like, Facebook groups, um, you can only roll them into like snow boys. So I can't, I can't say that you can't make his family, but uh, it just seems like you can only make snow boys. Um, and then if you make a perfectly made snow boy, he will give you a seasonal DIY recipe. Um, and then they'll also give you a large snowflake every day until he melts. So you can always talk to, talk to him every day, get your snowflake, everything will be good. And he'll stick around for four days like they have in like every other game. So there is a whole bunch of frozen DIY recipes that you can get from him. These look really, really cool. Um, and it's definitely something that I want to do. You can also make the frozen treat set. I don't know if you can make it anywhere else, but he will give you that. So that would be super awesome and wonderful. You can also get the ice wand. And then you can get a snow person head, which I assume you can like wear for yourself. So that's kind of everything I found about Toy Day the the snowflakes and the snow people um obviously i could be wrong with any of this kind of stuff so if i am wrong definitely call me out in the comments below but this is just what i found by doing some internet searches and talking to all of my other animal crossing friends so um that's kind of it for december we will be streaming animal crossing a whole bunch um, I will be streaming on December 24th. We're also going to do our Dung Beetle stream and our Barlow stream. So if you want to keep up to date with the things that are going on, definitely follow me over on Twitter. Um, I will leave my Twitter in the description below. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, why don't you leave me a like? If you have something to say, definitely leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. And if you really liked it, you can always subscribe to my channel and then you'll never miss a video. Thank you guys so much for watching this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!